Plastics come in all shapes and sizes, all kinds. But it may be the smallest particles, invisible to the naked eye, that threaten humans and animals the most. These are the plastics that end up at the end of the waste stream. From our streets and landfills, to waterways, bays, and eventually the ocean. We know them as microplastics, microscopic pieces of synthetic polymers that end up in the guts of fish, whales, seabirds, even oysters. But what if we went even smaller, so small that, like a toxin, they could end up in our very cells? So small, you would need 100,000 of them to equal the thickness of a sheet of paper, with millions of tons of plastic ending up as marine litter every year. Some researchers posit that compared to all the macro and microplastics, there are just as many, if not more, nanoplastics. Researchers at OSU are developing tools and methods to detect these sneaky hazards. Not only their presence in the water, but also their type. The biggest culprits so far? Rubber tires and synthetic clothing. Particles and fibers that can easily break down to this toxic size as they make their way down to the ocean. So what can you do? Here are some things to consider.